All right, so we've finished going over kind of the overview of the system, all the bits and pieces and how it all works. Um, now we're going to get into actually setting up a system from the ground up. So in my office, I've got a bunch of cameras, I.O. devices, NAS devices, a bunch of crazy stuff. Uh, we're going to go through and configure my office demo system, and I have three lovely assistants to help me. Cat Patches from the marketing team, digital marketing and events manager. And Nick, you guys already know, video and graphics, and Yifan, customer experience. Now one thing to note is that these guys are all newbies. They've never installed an IP video system in their life. So if they can do it, you can do it. All right, so moving right along. Um, when you're setting up your system the first time, the initial system setup, you're gonna wanna do a few things. You're gonna wanna download an Xwitness, of course. Install an Xwitness. You're gonna configure your storage. You're going to merge your servers into a single system. You're going to check time synchronization just to make sure everything's cool. And then you're going to activate your licenses. And then we're going to add devices. So this video, we're going to do these things first. All right? So uh, to download an next witness, there's two places. There's my.networkops.com, which has the latest release, monthly patches, and the beta versions. Um, and then there's nxvms.com, which is NX Cloud, And there you can get the latest release. All right? So I've already downloaded NX Witness. Um, these guys have already downloaded NX Witness um, and installed it. Cat's installed version 3.2. Nick's installed version 4.0. The reason Cat installed 3.2 is so I can show you how updates work. Um, and then we'll merge them all into one system and we'll start to add devices. So installing NX Witness. Let's go over it one more time. Real nice and easy. So if I look at my downloads, I got my NX Witness bundle. Agree. I'm going to leave um, the discover devices um, and optimize settings uh, on. Um, there will be some conflicts when you're setting it up. If you leave a system like this, uh, you'll see some server conflict and some IP camera conflicts. Don't worry about it. You haven't finished setting the system up yet. So there are two servers showing up right now and a system called Desktop Cat. Um, so why don't we do this? Why don't we log in a desktop cat first uh, and update it? Let's pretend this is an old system and I'm adding stuff to it, right? So logging into cat system here. I know the password because uh, cat is uh, not very sneaky. Um, so as you can see, I'm connecting to a 3.2 version, and this is something that happens. When, the, when you're connected to a different version, the client will automatically download and install the compatible version of the client um, and then when it's done it will restart and switch to that new version um, so you don't have to do anything right which is kind of a nice feature so you can see here I got a Windows notice I gotta allow it access and now I'm in 3.2 and I'm connected to cat system right so to update you go to system administration the hamburger menu system administration you guys want to see it over here you can look um, you go to updates, right? Um, since this is not a released product yet, we're installing, we're installing a beta, we're gonna have to do what's called a specific build, we'll update to a specific build. Um, because the latest available update from the update server is a release version 3.2. So let's go to specific build. Um, when I go to my NX, let me cancel out of this real fast because I gotta get to my NX. Let me open it up on my other screen. So, if you go to download and you go to beta, you'll see here in client upgrade. So this is how you update a system, right? You got a build number, so it's 29,227th build, right? Go back to that updates. So specific build, build number 29227, and then the password. Each build has a unique password. Uh, and that will allow it to download from our download our update server. So now I put that password in there, select build. You can see it gives me some warnings, right? Uh, show me the release notes. Um, so when you're ready, press the update button. Um, the first thing that will happen is it will download the update. So if you have multiple servers in the system, it's going to download one. It's going to create a package that you need for all of your servers. It doesn't matter if there's Windows server. Or Linux servers or ARM servers, it will create the installation and upgrade package for you. 
then it's going to download that package and then it's going to push the updates to the servers so it's basically delivering this package to those servers to prepare them for update right and then once that's done it goes to installing updates which is doing now so it's actually installing the new version on cat's machine over there right um, and when it's done it'll just give me a uh, everything's done so it shouldn't take very long um, it depends on the speed of your internet connection um, if you're updating servers that are in different locations it may take longer um, so be patient one thing you'll see here is at the top we have a warning up applying system updates at the end of the week is not recommended it has nothing to do with the technology and it has everything to do with process uh, if your system blows up for some reason uh, when you're doing an update which is not a common thing um, but you do it on the on a Friday maybe you can't find somebody to help you uh, do support is the main thing so we want to make sure you guys uh, don't <laughs> uh, have a problem and that you can't rectify all right so it's update complete now what's gonna happen is the client will restart to the new version right and now you can see I've got desktop cat it's on the same version so I'm gonna put the password in and if I connect now and I go up here to the about right hamburger menu about now I can see the version is 4.029227 so that's how you upgrade a system right so let me disconnect from this server so now I've got one setup system and two servers waiting to be set up so I'm gonna set up my demo system first right set up a new system Tony's demo I use a super secret password that nobody knows and then press finish alright so now I've got a server set up now camera discovery if you've got two competing systems running might run a little wonky and weird because you're competing for the different cameras that are out there don't worry about it um, the other thing I can do here is now I can see the other systems here right I can see the demo system on our on our network um, I can see the new system that hasn't been set up yet which is Nick's computer over there and I can see cats server so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring in that new system so go right click on it and merge to existing system and now you can see I've got two servers in the tree here All right so that's how easy it is to bring in a server that hasn't been set up yet um, another way to do this is you can do this via the web interface but most people do upgrades via the desktop client interface so don't go near the web admin thing unless you have to right um, now I've got cat system so I'm gonna right click on that and say merge to currently connected system it's gonna ask me for the administrator password of her system right because I need to bring in take over her system so I put in that password and it's gonna bring her server in now right so now you can see I've got two servers here right um, I'm gonna rename this one to uh, the NX2 because I know that's what it is for Nick so I'm gonna rename it to the one because I know that's what it is and for mine I'm gonna rename it to rename stuff you just click on it twice in the tree um, let me make sure and share with you guys too so now I'm gonna um, do Tony's desktop all right so we've got all these cameras in there actually I want all these cameras to record on the NX2 for the most part so I'm gonna move most of them over there right one thing to note is I'm not going to use move my uh, webcam let me get rid of that Boop. all right let me put one camera back on mine just in case so now I've got cameras if I double click on them you can see some of them are streaming right away because they're on the default password for the manufacturer um, and that's what those are um, and some of them are locked which means they're not on the default password so hopefully I remember the passwords for those cameras um, you've also got some default notifications that are coming in if you don't like them and you think that they're kind of useless um, for example I just set up the system the email address is not set up yeah I know right well I can go to local settings here uh, underneath notifications and I can disable some of these notifications just to get them out of my um, my notifications panel so I got some of those you can see di device IP conflict that's pretty normal uh, that just means that he was pulling a camera um, that was conflicting with the same camera I was pulling um, alright so now I've got everything up I've got everything installed I want to now configure storage for each one of these right 
So if I right click on CATS NX2 and I go to server settings, check storage management, I've got four drives in it, three 3.6 terabyte drives and one or three four terabyte drives and one 1.8 terabyte drive or two terabyte drive. So they're all enabled so everything looks good. Right? Uh, for the one, if I go look at that one, it's got a main drive, which is the OS drive, and then another drive, which is two terabytes. I'm going to disable the OS drive because I don't want to use the OS drive for storage because if it gets full, your computer starts to slow down. Right? So leave your OS drive alone if you can. And then on my computer, I'm going to go to the storage management, same thing. I've got uh, one OS drive and two two terabyte drives, so I'm going to leave those alone. So everything looks good. The final thing is time synchronization. System administration, if you go to time synchronization, um, I've got it set up so it's going to synchronize time with the internet. So just do a quick spot check here. It's 1.10 p.m. Uh, in here in Burbank, beautiful downtown Burbank. It's 1.10 p.m. on my computer. So everything looks good. Since we're connected to the internet, I'm going to leave it synchronized to the internet. So that's the first step in, in getting your system set up is install your servers, connect to them all, merge them into a single system, upgrade any components that you need to get, make sure everything's on the same version. All right, any questions? No. All good. No questions from the newbies. All right, on to the next video.